My name is Ryan Sturmer, and I'm here with ShopBot Tools demoing the HandyBot and the Fabmo software framework. The HandyBot is special because it is a CNC tool, but it's also kind of like a power tool. It's, uh, it's a full three axis, fully capable CNC system, but it's portable. You set it down on the material that you want to work with, and uh, it cuts right into whatever you set it on. So it's important to makers because it adds portability to CNC, it adds the capability to uh, cut on things that you couldn't fit into a conventional CNC machine. And the software framework Fabmo, which runs with HandyBot, is important to makers because one, it's completely open source, and two, we're bringing an apps model to uh, CNC, which is something that's relatively new. We've seen it uh, used all over the place. Uh, these tools are, uh, you see them a lot in education, they're big in schools and uh, places where they're bringing CNC to kids or to people who want to learn. Uh, we see them used on job sites where you want to bring the tool to the work. And uh, we're hoping to see more of that, and we're hoping to see more of the tools being used in, in situations where people can really make use of apps and doing single-purpose parametrized designs with the tools. The biggest news about HandyBot is the Fabmo software platform, which is the open source platform that, let, that runs the tool, lets you connect to the tool with any device, phone, tablet, Mac, PC, Linux, uh, and that uh, provides a framework for developers to develop apps for the tool that make it more useful. The tool and the Fabmo software framework are all completely open source. Uh, the uh, blueprints for the tool are available online. The software is available online on the HandyBot website and on GitHub. Uh, you can go there, you can check out the software framework. We want to make Fabmo and the motion system for this tool available to people who not only are using the HandyBot but are doing DIY CNC. We want to see this framework included in CNCs that go beyond the HandyBot because we know that if more people have the framework and more people are developing apps, those are apps that we can use on our tool to make them more useful. It's been very uh, energizing to see people using the tools and getting the most out of them. It's been great to see the enthusiasm around CNC and apps for CNC. We really think that's where it's going and we're really excited about it.